Hey, good evening. I'm out here at Manders today at my cabin, and my video today is just about Joshua Tree and how it's changed over the years. Uh, years ago when I came here, look at that beautiful background. That's what I love about it out here. It's amazing. That's Goat Mountain right there. Years ago when I had started coming here, I kind of found my way here by accident, and I'm kind of interested in how people found their way here because I found my way here such a weird way. Uh, we would go camp in Arizona a bunch and this was kind of a halfway point from my house and it got to be where, um, you know, it took a week to get a reservation when we could walk in before, then it was two weeks and then three weeks and a month. It's really hard to get a camping reservation in the parks, and they, they weren't doing reservations because the National Park Service is kind of a two-bit operation most of the time. But the uh, I bought property here just just so I could stop and camp, and I really like it. And when we first came here, it was pretty Spartan. And what's happened over the last few years because of COVID, all these people are on the work at home, work on my computer, so they've moved here from LA. So we're, we used to be able to walk into like grandma's and have breakfast and there was no wait. We could just walk right in and sit down. Now you're looking at like 45 minutes to two hours of wait. Crossroads used to always, it always had a wait, um, but it was a wait there was 15, 20 minutes. Uh, now I would guess you could spend two hours there just waiting to get some food and there's been a lot of new stuff popping up down there downtown of joshua tree in the village there and uh my video will kind of show you that today was farmer's market there's just so many people and there's no place to park and it's just overrun with crazy hipsters and la people which is kind of sad because that's kind of not the not the joshua tree uh, that i really liked when I moved here I liked it because there wasn't a whole lot of people and now it's getting kind of crazy and I'm kind of glad I'm up here in Landers uh, where it's still kind of a less people feel and thing like that but uh, Josh Tree itself has been kind of overrun with Airbnbs and even here in Landers there's tons of Airbnbs and it's hard for the locals here to find a place to to live because of there's people moving from outside the area and I just wanted to show people and pay attention to my video. Look at people's outfits; it's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, you'll you'll see what Joshua Tree is like today. Today is the 26th of February, 2022, and you can see what Joshua Tree is like in 2022. All right, man, have a great day. Enjoy that view. Five years ago, there were even maybe 
10 percent of these people here since it's got discovered been kind of uh, crazy here I want to buy that trading post super cool turn into a beer bar you can, you can see you can't even all the way up the street. It's craziness. The hipsterness is massive. And we're going across the street over here. This place has been here like a year. Crossroads has been here a long time, but there's people walking. All the way because there's more stores. It's, it's crazy. It's Crossroads is pretty good though. If you like waiting in line, you can wait and eat there. But the, uh, it's totally worth eating at. You go down here and there's some people walking all the way down this way. liquor store has been there a long time. Vintage wear, kind of new. Place grandma's across the street here. The line out the door. Used to be able to walk right in there and no one was in it. People on that side, crazy. 